Welcome back to the channel. So, driving in the Impala right now, heading over to my man Ryan, owner of Steel Tooth Fab, okay? So check it out real quick, y'all. We, I had this operation under wrap probably for about the last month and a half. Uh, it's been top secret, you know. If you follow the Instagram, you got a couple hints here and there. I didn't want to put too much out until it was done, but um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be good. It's going to be good. So pretty much, we got a custom grill that was made purely custom. I'm talking, when I say custom, I'm not talking like, oh, you went online and they got a couple options you can put in there and then, you know, they make it based off of their six or seven generic temp. No, 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 no. I mean, custom from the gate out, okay? If y'all hear my GPS, it's because I got it on right now. So, uh, yeah, I'm extremely excited. We're about to pull up here in a second. When we get there, I'm gonna show y'all the grill. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you the maestro behind it, Ryan. Uh, all the work he put into it, and then you know we are gonna talk about that stuff and all that good stuff. Okay. So uh, if you guys like this video, go ahead and smash that thumbs up. I know you're gonna like it. Um, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be real good. All right. So I get with y'all. I'm actually about to pull up right now. So I will get with y'all in a second. We are back. I'm back right now. So we're over here at Steel Tooth Fab Shop and with owner Ryan. Uh, you guys, you just saw the grill up close real quick. Let me tell y'all something. I told y'all this was custom, okay? This is not no generic stuff that you just get, you know, online, order, and wait for it to come in. This is 100% custom American-made parts. Uh, I can't put words into explaining how good this looks right now. So instead of me trying to explain it to y'all, I'm just going to go ahead and let the owner and the creator of this amazing grill do the talking and uh, tell you about his business, what he can do for you. And then on top of that, tell you about the price because at the end of the day, everybody wants to know what the dollar come down to, right? Uh, hey, what's up dudes? Name's uh, Ryan Vaught, owner of Steel Tooth Fabrication, LLC. This is, uh, as you can tell, my massive shop I'm working out of. We've got a four foot by four foot right CNC plasma cutter phenomenal piece of equipment if you're ever in the market for it highly recommend right CNC great dudes over there but start out whip up some designs on the computer for whatever you guys want and then get the metal and then lay it on the table and start cutting it out and beginning the finished process of whatever it is so we do metal art as you can see hanging up do truck parts as you can tell like the uh, custom grills we're going to be offering here soon and yeah pretty much almost whatever you want if I can fit it on my table I do welding like if you got custom brackets you need damn anything really I mean it the sky's the limit if I can cut it out of metal or cut it out on the table and then weld it together like I can do it for you it's not not a huge deal uh, we also offer um, some other stock shit like we make custom bottle openers Primarily military themed, but uh, we'll show you some of that stuff here in a little bit. But rolling into the grill, so you take the stock uh, third gen grill. Obviously, you how I started was I popped out all the center pieces, just ripped those off the back, and then I left the um, left the vertical and horizontal bars in there. And then I'll go through and I'll cut out. I'll whip up the design offer custom centerpiece for so if you got like your truck's name your name your company name whatever you want to throw in there I can slap that on there cut out the grill it's a 16 gauge normal carbon steel uh, so thick enough to where it's not gonna be a pain in the ass bolting it down but yeah it works pretty good we did a couple test runs with aluminum and some other stuff and it just didn't didn't work out as good so this is what we ended up going with um, yeah, so I'll leave the center section on, leave the vertical bars on and horizontal, and then you lay it down. And then I'll provide the grill piece, this backing plate, and all the hardware that you see. They're just quarter inch little Allen keys that go through, and the grill will show up with all the holes in the grill. So that way all you got to do is lay it down over your stock grill, 
line it up perfectly, it'll line up on the edges and everything, and then just start drilling the holes through the plastic because it'll already be there in the metal like I just said, so you don't got to worry about trying to get all these perfect, they'll come to you ready to go. Hell yeah. So just drilling through the plastic and then on the back, just slap some nuts on, those will come in the kit also, nuts and bolts fully ready to go. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And then after you get it bolt, bolted down and uh, where you want it all aligned, then I just cut out and trim back the uh, plastic piece so you don't see that behind through the honeycomb design. But yeah, so you can take off the back layer just with these nuts. I'll do it right now because they're all tight, but then paint that a different color and make your name, business name, whatever you got, uh, paint that so it has a different color and pops out. But yeah, so I'll be offering these on my website. Uh, here soon, steeltoothfab.com, and uh, they're going to be $400 with the ability to put your um, custom name like I was talking about in there. i got to figure out a character count for what fits in here and looks good, but yeah, $400 with your custom name, it'll come with all the hardware you need ready to bolt onto your grill, and then if someone, you know, doesn't have the ability to, or tools to do it themselves, if you really need it, I can do it my, uh, for you. I'll order the grill shell, put on whatever you want for your grill, and then ship it to you as a full unit just like this. Uh, but yeah, that would obviously include the extra cost of buying the grill and a longer wait time waiting for it to show up and everything because I'm not going to stock these grills. Man, that's crazy. So, Alright you guys, so Ryan just laid out everything that he can provide for you and his services, you guys. Now, a couple things. One, y'all know how big I am in supporting small entrepreneurship, all right? The reason why I say small is because they all have the aspiration to be big one day, to be out there where everybody knows their brand. You guys seen it with Kevin, uh, Kevin over at Full Sand Diesel. You guys seen it with Kevin Ranette over at Ranette Ironworks. I'm a huge supporter of young American entrepreneurship. And this right here is a textbook prime example of what I am talking about okay now you might be saying okay well how does he differ from competitors all right well first things off the bat I can guarantee you if you were to go to any big name company custom fab company you're looking probably at about anywhere from eight to twelve hundred bucks for this right here I'm, I'm being real with y'all those of you that know what I'm talking about you know what I'm talking about uh, he is offering a phenomenal price on this uh, he does more okay so Let's say you don't want this setup style, and I'm asking you, Kevin or uh, Ryan. Let's say you don't want this actual style. Like, let's say they come to you with a drawing or a sketch of a, of a specific way they want it. Can you do that still? Yeah, yeah, I can do that. So um, the price will differ a little bit because I got to factor in design time. Because uh, depending on what it is, like these honeycombs took probably four, four or five hours. Uh, design because you have to sit there and edit every single one to get it exactly how you want it and all be even and everything so yeah I could definitely do like a, a whole different design but just know that um, the price will obviously go up just due to design time and yeah. how much it's going to take away from uh, whatever else I'm doing at the time but yeah if it's I mean the more detailed um, the better like if you send it to me just try and lay it out as best as you can like uh -huh. the exact uh, with what you want. Sketches would be awesome. Uh, pictures, dope. But yeah, that way I don't have to um, like ask you as many questions and keep going back and forth. I can just get right to work on it and uh, start getting after it. But yeah, definitely I can customize it to whatever you want. And shortly here soon, I'm going to start doing other trucks. Nice. I got all the Fords out here. Hey, but stand by for that right there. Oh, y'all yeah. gonna, gonna like what's under that hood. Big girl. Yeah. All right. So you guys, his contact information. I'll put it right here so y'all can see that. I'm also gonna have his contact info down below if the camera decides to focus. I'll have his contact info down below um, so you guys can check him out. He has a website, email, Facebook, Instagram, uh, phone number. So if you want to get in touch with him, hit him up. Um, this is. This is phenomenal. Um, reason being is because I'm a firm believer that in the diesel community, there are certain things that are monopolized in the sense of there's only very few people you can go to to get something done like this. And I feel like it's, it, anytime we can find a, that new person, that new industry, that new game changer, it has to be pushed out to the masses, man, because this is going to help people out. Uh, not only is it going to help out a small businessman like Ryan, but it's also going to help you out because you're saving money but getting such high quality product okay now you guys know I kept this on the wrap 
for a long well you you know today but i kept this on the wrap for a long time because this was like top secret to me and i was so excited and i wanted to tell you guys a long time ago if you were following instagram you got a couple sneak peeks here and there um some of y'all know what i'm talking about but i was so happy to be able to make this video for you guys and this grill's not even done yet we still i still i'm when i take it home today i'm gonna take it apart i'm gonna we're gonna be painting it uh the scheme so if you guys are curious the scheme is gonna be we'll do the white on the side trim take the insert off this front face insert or uh, front face cover is going to be gold just like my suspension and then I'm going to take this back plate off and it's going to be white it's going to look phenomenal you guys are going to love it um so this is this is a1 work man you you knock this out the park I'm telling you that right now uh, so absolutely you guys so once again his contact info is going to be down below in the description also you can rewind if you want to see it um hit him up man hit him up because you can't <laughs> You cannot, you're not going to be disappointed. And you guys know me. I only put things on my channel that I will put on my own truck and that I, I want to represent on my truck. You know what I'm saying? So if you were in the market like me, a couple of y'all actually hit me up already asking about the grills and stuff. Um, now you know. Now you know. I've been trying to keep it on the wrap. So, and then also, side note from the grill, he also, just like he said earlier, he, he does all sorts of stuff. I mean, over there on the wall, he got, you know, uh, I don't even know what that is, but it's just like going away, like just random metal stuff. Like, I feel like if you need anything metal, you can, you pretty much can do it. Um, you know, retirement gifts, going away presents. Yeah, we do cool, a lot of that. A lot cool of plaques. going away gifts right now. Um, especially for like people coming back from places, people leaving, they want to give them a going away gift. So that's, that's perfect. Um, yeah, those things go really good. They don't take me too long usually, depending on how backed up I am, but... Also, as you can see, we got um, we do a good bit of Kevin over at Full Sun Diesel. His work. These are his um, damn fan cooler mounts. Uh, this is the old version, the Gen One, Gen Two. Obviously, doesn't have any of the things in it. But this was a test run, so I got a finger break. So actually, now it saves Kevin some time. He doesn't have to sit there and weld everything together. It just comes fully bent, and then with this new design that I modified a little bit just to make it a lot cleaner and everything and then hell yeah. he'll do everything that he does powder coating or whatever the hell <laughs> I'm just a metal dude I just cut shit shoot now you guys we got a little surprise now this was the first half of the video but we also got a second surprise that we're going to be showing you guys uh, with this truck alright so stand alright you guys so y'all looking here at a notorious 6.4 power stroke but this is no longer about to be a power stroke Ryan what, what we got going on over here? <laughs> I got bolted in the other day. It's loose. It's far from its Snap. final, final resting spot. But I was tired of rolling it in and out of the garage. Finally got it painted up. New rear main. Still got to work on the front, but that's easy to get to. But, yeah, loosely bolted in there. Um, painted up, obviously, and then just figuring out all the odds and ends because it was a commercial application. Uh, Mint Tim spent a full day ripping it out of a Freightliner bus. Absolutely miserable, but yeah, oh. good running 12 valve, 137,000 miles on the motor. Got to start it up here. It runs. See the miles is awesome running motor. So took it out. Bought the conversion kit from Diesel Conversion Specialists. Phenomenal company. Really, really awesome kit. You can't, you can't fuck that one up. That's crazy, man. So you're doing a 12 valve swap in this. Oh yeah, Big and, old then, and then he got he got his uh, the original trans and transfer case out on the side over there. So this is gonna be, I'm definitely gonna come back and get this on film once you get this rolling and stuff. Uh, I will show y'all the interior, but he's working on it right now. Sure doing it. <laughs> it's a work in progress. Judge what? Me. Yeah, so we got the King Ranch. As I said, diesel conversion specialist there stout ass billet adapter plate and then flex plate inside there shiny really awesome kit uh started repainting the plastics new headliners obviously you can still still working on the uh starlight on it just always wanted to do it i couldn't do this man oh, hell no nah. dude that, <laughs> i couldn't do it <laughs> the fast ready to go in all right put in the sump uh drain the tank cleaned everything it's a flood truck, so I spent two days underneath with a pressure washer just getting soaked and shit. <laughs> of course, on one of the one of the cold North Carolina days where it's like <laughs> 60 and breezy and you're soaking wet. Yeah, good times. It's good times, man. This is a sick build though. I wanna see that I wanna see this run. Yeah, it'll be it'll be 
but good. Still got a long way to go, but I'm plugging away at it in between all the metal, so that's what's taking it a while. For sure, for sure, man. Man. Boy, this thing gonna be nasty. All right, you guys, so hopefully you enjoyed the content. I hope you hope you hit up Ryan and hit up Steel Tooth Fab for your custom grill needs for third gens. Um, oh, that's one more thing. So, hey, Ryan, so with the grills, right now you can do a third gen, right? But then you said you was gonna get into into four gens and power stroke gr uh, grills? Yeah, so I got the design down for the third gen. Outline's perfect, that's the hardest part to it. Um, we're gonna be working on the Fords here soon when I get some spare time and then, uh, some more dodges here hopefully in the near future I just gotta get a hold of a grill uh, either order one and try and try and steal one from Kevin over there at full send when he's not looking <laughs> hopefully he's watching this <laughs> yeah, I'll be over there soon <laughs> alright you guys so until next time thank you for checking out the video all the information you need in order to get in contact with my man Ryan is going to be down below if you enjoyed this video smash that thumbs up don't forget to subscribe make sure y'all are on the standby because we still got to finish the suspension on the third gen and then we got to get this bad boy painted and installed so I know you guys are going to be looking forward to it so until next time y'all take it easy be safe peace out Oh